Folks, welcome back to another great episode at Three Pound Fishing. Today we're going to be going over vertical jigging on live scope. And folks, we get a lot of great catches on the active captain feature. So stick with me. We're going to have a great episode. Don't forget that we are fishing exclusively, of course, with Ozark rods, but also with Three Pound Fishing Tackle. You can check it out at threepoundfishing.com. Folks, subscribe. Here we go. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies. Well, welcome back, folks. We're back here on Wren Lake doing some major jigging right now. Caught a ton of fish already in this episode, um, on this day for this episode. And you'll see those clips right there, probably in the intro or something like that. But we're vertical jigging. These fish are about 10 or 10 feet down. And uh, we are just sniping the crap out of them. Hot jig right now, gumdrop, check it out. Three pound fishing tackle at threepoundfishing.com. Smoking hot. All right, so right there is a perfect example of what I'm looking at. Timber, good mark, maybe two marks there. I'm not quite sure yet. When I get up to it a little closer, we're gonna find out. But that's a great mark. Um, and that's something we're gonna drop. So a nice, that's the mark. We're gonna target. We're gonna hope this is a fish. It's a good one. Might be a couple of fish though. I gotta look at that. Nah, it's definitely coming into two. One. Now, if I get a bad drop like that, I just pull it right back up. No big deal. These fish aren't totally aggressive. You know, they're. You really almost have to put it on their nose. They don't seem to like it. So, moving it in to 25 feet now, it's really close to me. We risk spooking it now. There he was. He just hit it and I missed him. He got my jig. Dang it. What a great example. That's all right. Great mark here again. You can see this guy here. I don't know how great of a mark he is now that I look at him, but try a different color here just to see if it works on Run Lake. So it might be a bust, but there he is. We like the guy on the back on the back side there. And we spooked him. There you go. That's a typical spook. Good job, fish. Figured it out. I'll go with these guys down here. Good fish too. And we did get that on active captain. And there, I'll show you the color I'm using. It's not available on the website. It's just, uh, but I'll tell you what, that gumdrop is on fire. That carrot is on fire. So that's a good fish right there. Solid fish. Gosh dang. Doesn't get much better than that, folks. Turn that off, bam. So uh, if you're interested in guide trips, I am doing guide trips on Wren Lake. I also do most of my guide trips, of course, on my home lake, Lake Egypt. Uh, if you have an interest in even going to Kincaid, you go to Kincaid. Uh, but Wren Lake right now is definitely a, a good lake to be on. You want to feel the fun. The great thing about Wren Lake is it definitely has a thump and it's a lot of fun, good structure fishing. But one of the tips that I gave right off the bat was that if I have a bad drop, I pull it back right away. I do not waste the time for that bad drop to go down into the water and waste time or possibly spook the fish. If it's a bad, bad drop, I pull it back and I redrop. The other tip I want to give you guys is that I 
work my line with my left hand. I am managing that line completely with the left hand, especially in shallow water. It allows me to have a lot more control over the bait. You can't just do it with your right hand holding the pole and, and putting the pole up and down. You work it with your left hand so you can get that jig in precise location. And on Run Lake on this day, it had to be on their nose to get them to bite. So um, try it. Work it. Work the line with the opposite hand that's holding, that's holding the rod and I think it just definitely gives you better control over that jig. These fish are everywhere in here. It's, I mean, you just gotta love it when you don't have to go very far to find your next fish. question I get a lot, I get asked a lot, is what's the difference between the scoping rod for those arc rods and the three pound fishing? These are both 13 footers that I have in the boat. I'm gonna, I'll go with it. Um, what I think is, uh, this guy's a little bit heavier, a little bit beefier, um, perhaps even a little bit stiffer. And um, so, it's too, you know, everybody's gonna have a different liking. So if you're into that type of rod, fishing rod, uh, then the scoping rod might be your, your play. What I really like about the three pound fishing elite series is that it is light and I feel like it is just the right amount of backbone. I mean, I think it's perfect. I really do. Um, so why am I using this rod right now? Because it has the carrot on it. My gosh, there's a good fish here. case of the lock jaw. There he goes. Come on, baby, move. There's one. So the question is, did you see what I did? I put it exactly on their nose, and then what did I do? Let's show that again. I gave that bait some action. I, I jigged it. That's what I did was I give it a little three taps. If I get it on the nose of a fish and I still don't see any movement, I'll tap it. Just barely giving it some motion and that's what intrigued this bite. Oh. <laughs> Does it get you better than that? Maybe not quite as big as I thought, but man, I love it when you can make a, a finicky fish bite. That's when it's just a great time. When you work at one, you drop on them several times, different angles. And what's gonna make them bite? That's the excitement I get out of fishing right now, for sure. I found that, you know, if you just, you have to hit it from different angles. Sometimes there's just an angle that seems to intrigue them a little bit more. Um, sometimes I jig it a little bit. Sometimes they want it really still. Those finicky guys, man, you have to play with them. That's fun. Gosh, I scared them away. That was a good fish, too. This is another one. He snuck down there all day long. My gosh. That is fun. Look at that. Gosh, man. What are you gonna do? Pound fish all day long. That's fun stuff. Gosh dang. I mean, that's just the fish that they're giving off right here right now, it seems like. I mean. That's the best fish of the day so far. Bam, worked on him. That's really close anyway, maybe not the best, but I worked on him hard. <laughs> that is a solid fish, gosh dang. So another tip I'm gonna give you on vertical fishing is definitely time on the water. I know that's not much of a, 
That's not much help, but I'm going to tell you, boat control is everything, and you get that from time on the water. Seeing and noticing and identifying fish on live scope is critical, and sometimes those suckers really hide from you. It ain't, ain't no joke. I mean, even for me, I'm amazed I can pick something out, and it's from time on the water. It always goes back to time on the water. So don't think for a second that you're going to get out there um, and identify these fish right off the bat. The easy ones are the ones that are sitting on type on the side of a log, but the ones that are tucked in, maybe half buried in the mud, man, those guys are tough. And uh, it. it takes time on the water. You did go for it. <laughs> Front presentation with a little jig right in front of his nose. Oh my goodness. Too much fun, folks. Just too much fun. Big fish. fish of the day right there that's gonna end it folks that is a hog look at that big fish gosh dang <laughs> oh my gosh thanks for watching three pound fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies